Techno College tries to give an overview of what has changed in the field over the past year. It brings together those people that are a little bit more open-minded and want to see a glimpse into the future what our profession might change to in the next couple of years. We had now more than 700 delegates in the cardiac track of uh, Techno College. And what is uh, really amazing to me is they apparently come from more than 100 countries. There's a huge delegation from the US, substantial delegation from South America, the major presence from Asia. Basically today, Techno College is divided in three, three sessions. We have a morning session and two afternoon sessions. The morning session is more on aorta or aortic valve. So we saw a very nice demonstration of a transaxillary approach with a new uh, valve prosthesis. And we also had a very nice life case of a frozen elephant trunk procedure. So my favorite thing is like the Arctic, the, the first session in the adult cardiac tunnel colleagues for today because they actually did like several life cases. And because it's live, you could easily ask the surgeons anything that comes to mind, you know. In the afternoon, we had the session on new technology, which started with the technology award winner from last year, followed by somebody from this year who is presenting. Being awarded, it's, it's, it's something very good. <laughs> I mean, it's huge. The award was based on our many years work on making native valves for the heart. Well, I think the impact of this award is we will have more progress in developing this technique. And the third session is more dealing with mitral valve surgery. Techno College is crucial because it's the moment where we discuss in a different way of the new topics and the hot topics in the speciality. We are at the time of a great change because we are going definitely in minimal invasive tailored surgery. 3D reconstruction makes us see differently and very precisely the lungs of our patients. It's also a moment where you have surgeon with a lot of experience, with junior surgeon, and I think it can have an, an impact on recruiting new thoracic surgeon. I'm a trainee. I'm <laughs> halfway through my training. In my home country, we do both cardiac and thoracic. I've appreciated the opportunity because uh, our center, we don't have a, a robot for thoracic. So I, I really did appreciate the training. The robotic simulation workshop was really good. I attended that last year. And it's nice that I, the, the proctors uh, tell you some tips and tricks and how to make things easier. The learnings I get from here, so I would be able to bring it back to the Philippines and hopefully improve um, our local setting, especially in the use of robotics and thoracic surgery. From my personal perspective, it was a very successful first day of the meeting. I've been uh, participating for the Techno College and it was so good. New techniques, the participants were very excellent. This is the largest cardiothoracic meeting in the world. Yeah, we're proud of it. We hope we can keep it that way. It's a lot of hard work, but we keep on working on it.